politics. Think you've had enough of it? The 2016 election has famously turned thousands of Americans off. But a timely new film just could possibly provide an antidote to all that poison. In a season of political fear and loathing, political animals offers a salutary point of light. A fairly straightforward documentary, the film looks at how four lesbian legislators in California worked together to pass LGBT-friendly laws that paved the way two decades later for equal marriage rights. The power of the film is not in the revolutionary drama, but rather in the gently conveyed message about what political change actually requires, namely years and years of hard work and harder knocks. It starts back in the 1990s when California's first out legislator, Sheila Kuehl, sought to pass an anti-bullying law that would protect kids in school. She had to watch her bill go down to defeat not once or twice, but three times, and endure stomach-turning diatribes delivered by her colleagues, one of whom smiled her way as he compared homosexuals to hormone-perverted heifers. By the time her anti-bullying legislation was finally signed into law, Kuehl had been joined in the legislature by Carol Migdon, Christine Kehoe, and Jackie Goldberg, a foursome who took turns taking hits and pushing progress forward. And in between the diatribes, the four had to work with those bigots on things like farming bills and budget appropriations. I know Migdon. She didn't just shake hands with those Central Valley conservatives. She went down to their farms and milked their cows to win their confidence. What's the message? At the New York LGBT Film Festival, where I watched Political Animals, a veteran of the pre-Stonewall gay movement stood up in sequins and floods of tears, not because change took so long, some 60 plus years, but because it happened at all, he said. It isn't about one election, one candidate, or even one vote. As Political Animals reminds us, making political change isn't an overnight phenomenon. The process is icky and incremental, and it's best done in groups.